Well, good morning. It is the 10th of August, 2023, and uh, what is happening currently is not acceptable in relation to the train timetable between uh, Sydney and Brisbane. <coughs> in both directions, uh, with the train arriving uh, into Brisbane at, during daylight saving in particular at 3.54 in the morning, and leaving at 4.55 in the morning to go back to uh, to Sydney or add that change that by one hour in the non-daylight saving period. It's still not good enough. Very little in the way of connection by bus or by train. Now, my concept, and I would hope that it be considered because I have actually discussed this with... Uh, New South Wales train link by phone and it which was recorded and I guess passed on. I was told it was going to be passed on to management a long time ago actually. And that is to have the daylight train from Sydney to Brisbane sorry, Sydney to Casino extended to Brisbane. Now if that was the case, let's say seven fifteen AM would get into Brisbane nine fifteen PM. It would then leave again at 10.15 p.m. and get into Sydney at 12.15 p.m. the next day. Because it is a 14-hour um, trip. So, uh, that would suit sleeping car passengers completely, let's say, because... Uh, okay, you'd have a day train on your way up to Brisbane, but on the way back, you could get in the sleeper uh, before 10 o'clock at night, I assume, and you'd have until lunchtime the next day to arrive in, in Sydney, avoiding the peak period in both cities. Uh, this is particularly important for Brisbane. There's been a lot of problems here, objections and issues, which incidentally I could argue about and say that it's a New South Wales train, a New South Wales line, uh, um, effectively uh, into Brisbane and they should be able to run the train to suit themselves but let's just say that for the moment they can't and they won't have that issue if they operated at the times I just gave now on the subject by the way of uh, objections and all that sort of thing to, to things uh, I recall back in the days when uh, Joe Bjarke Peterson was Premier of uh, Queensland and uh, he decided to build a transit centre above uh, Roma Street. Well, the fuss and bother that occurred over that. Well, companies like Greyhound said, oh, we're not going to uh, uh, operate out of your transit centre. We've got a perfectly good depot in South Brisbane. Well, Joe said at the time, well, uh, we won't give you uh, a licence to operate in Queensland. Didn't take Greyhound very long to say, new transit centre in Roma Street, sounds like a great idea. And they complied. Now why I'm mentioning all this is, if, new, if a government such as New South Wales, and indeed Queensland for that matter, said publicly, the train timetable is going to be changed, even if it operates to the current basic system, in other words, leaves Bris Sydney later and gets into, uh, into Brisbane at, say, 6.30 in the morning and leaves at 7.30 in the morning, as used to be the case, they could tough it out and say, you will provide that. But I am offering a solution to that problem, by, as I just mentioned, arriving at 9.15pm every day and leaving at 10.15pm to go back to Sydney. I want some polite and civil comments and questions and discussion on that if you like but I'd like that uh, concept to be fully examined and introduced as soon as possible thank you for viewing